Hey guys, it's Julia here, and here we have a Dell Optiplex 5060, which we are going to be replacing the SSD in this video, as it currently has a 250GB SSD, and we're going to be putting in a 500GB NVMe. So this is the drive I'm going to put in the system. It's a Samsung 980. This is for my dad's computer. He bought this SSD, and I'm going to be putting it in, and after we do that, we're also going to migrate the data from the old one to the new one, aka cloning the install. So, let's get on with it. So, um, this computer does have a sticker because I believe it came from, like, some college or something originally. So I believe this computer came from a college, because you can see it has, like, a room number or something on there, and I noticed when I got the computer. It had an SSD already in it, a different one, but I took it out because it was just a SATA M.2, and that's going to be going in another system. And then I just put my dad's old drive in here. However, I'm going to be replacing it, like I said, with this, but this computer definitely came from a college because there were some clues that told me, and it was still on their KMS server, believe it or not. But don't worry, I wiped that install. So... I'm going to take off the side panel, which is just, I had to basically hold this top piece down, which you can't see because it was not angled right, but I had to do that and then pull back and then it came out. So you can see the SATA SSD down there. I know it's not mounted, it, this didn't come with the caddy. So I need to remove some flaps. Now every computer is going to obviously be different, but with this computer I need to remove those th these three flaps and basically take off the front casing of the system. So after I have the, the flaps off and I had taken off the front panel, I'm going to pull this. I believe I pulled this out with some force and it opens up the system. So I'm going to take out this SSD that's currently in it, which is a, actually no, I'm not gonna take this out because I need to clone it. I'm gonna leave this SSD in because we're gonna need that for cloning. And we are going to go to the M.2 slot, which let's look for it and see where it is. It looks like it's up there. As you can see, it might be better to just put the computer on the uh, like flat on the table. All right, so you could see the M.2 slot is right there. So we are going to unbox our SSD so that we can put it in that slot up there as we need to put in the new drive for the system. Now in order to put this in, I'm gonna move this over a bit so that I can actually like see what I'm doing while doing this. All right, so in order to put this in, we need to obviously line it up and make sure that it goes in the slot and then we'll push it down and have to screw it in. So let me grab the screw that was from the old one so that we can screw it in. So I'm gonna hold it down. We gotta get the screw in. The screw really likes sticking to the thing, so I'm trying to get it in as best as I can. But I'm having a bit of trouble. There we go. So now the screw is holding down the SSD. We might be fine without a heat sink, but I know in some cases you need a heat sink on, a heat sink on NVMe SSDs. However, we'll see how the temps are doing and determine if this computer will need a heat sink. So now, once that's done, I will slide this back down 
and make sure that I, you know, push it down so it, you know, clips in. I will grab the front panel cover again as we need to put that back on. All right, so we're going to pop the front panel back on again. The clips, get the clips in, but I need to make sure the front gets in as well. We gotta make sure that it's properly aligned with the front of the system. All right, so we're gonna try and put this back on. I've been having some trouble for some reason. I don't know why that this won't go on. Oh, it's because I have to line up the clips with the computer. Otherwise, I can't push it down. So I need to ensure that this side is completely in before I push the rest down. So once that side is in, I can then push this side down and then the clips go on completely. And then from there, I can grab the side panel and slide it back into place. So then I will slide the side panel. I will slide the side panel back into place. And it's back. So now that the SSD is in, I need to plug this into my capture card so that way I can boot in the OS and we can do the clone. All right, so I have the computer hooked up. We are going to plug it in. I wasn't sure if it was gonna boot up automatically, so. All right, I plugged it in and I see it on and then go off and then I'm gonna push the button and we're going to let the system boot and we're gonna make sure that our SSD is being detected in the main OS because we have both drives currently in here at the moment. Okay, so you can see that in this PC it's obviously not going to show because you know it's not initialized and all of that. But we need to at least make sure that it's being detected so we need to open disk management and see if it's there. Okay, good. It shows up. I'll just do GPT but leave it unallocated for now. And then I'm going to get Samsung Magician, which I'm gonna put on a USB, and then we're gonna copy it over. So we're going to install Samsung Magician on here, which obviously will allow us to actually clone the drive because they have a utility in here, and I've never used it before. This will be my first time using it, but we'll see how it goes because I've never used this before, so. Are you a resident of... No, I'm not in a European country. So, next. I accept. I accept. Next. Sure, you can make a desktop. Actually, no, I'm not. But I might mess up the desktop, desktop layout. Since, obviously, we have a really bad resolution at the moment because it's not detecting my capture card correctly. Let me see if I can fix that. So you could see, yeah, this is uh, not right. Uh, let's go to 1080. Oh God. Well, let me see if I can fix that. Why does this look so bad? Even on that it looks bad. But let me just set it back to the recommended. Alright, so I fixed the res. I did have to reboot the computer. I did get Samsung Magician installed. I've not opened it yet, so we're going to open it. Alright. And then we're gonna hit yes. And you can see there's our drive. But why is it showing up? Oh, drive health is showing as NA for some reason. Maybe we don't have smart enabled. I probably should check the BIOS for that. All right, so let's go to the BIOS. I had to restart my OBS because it was broken for some reason. So we have, so it is enabled. So I don't know why it's not like saying the help by saying NA, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's just boot Windows again, I guess. And it looks messed up again. All right, I don't know why it's saying NA really weird, but drive details, we get all our drive details here.
I actually would like to update the firmware and stuff. Let me actually connect this to the internet. The reason I'm connecting this is because some drives might have firmware related issues. So I would like to check for updates. All right, there we go. We're reopening it again with internet connection this time. So it, we now got our drive health. So maybe it was the fact I wasn't on the internet that it wasn't running to work. It's written zero, that's obviously normal. Let's go to update. It is on the latest firmware, so that's good to see. So we don't need to worry about that. So let's go back. And we're going to go to data migration, because this is what it is. Oh, that's not gonna work. I guess we can't use this, that's a shame. Well then, that's a problem. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that's not gonna work, so I'm gonna have to boot to a USB and clone this instead. All right, so let's use a different utility. All right, guys, so we're going to boot this again, and I'm going to actually use a different utility for this video. So I'm going to be using something called Clonezilla, which allows you to clone disks, but also other things too. Oh boy, what was that? That just scared me, I swear. I don't know what that was. But, uh, I'll just do the first one. Right, so select that, select that. We're gonna start it. And these are our options. Uh, how many are there? Which one is it? All right, so device, device, I believe. Alright, beginner, disk to local disk. Okay, so our source is going to be his old SSD because that's what we're copying from. So we're going to select SDA. And the target is going to be the NVMe, which means it'll basically clone everything. Yeah, it says all it says all data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced. So basically, when we select this, the NVMe is going to get erased in this scenario. All right, so I'm going to select the NVMe. Do I need to do any of this? Skip checking, I think. I probably shouldn't because it's Windows. I'm gonna skip that. All right, so we're gonna just use a partition table from the source and this actually form, just choose, yeah. So am I sure I wanna continue? Of course I wanna continue. Is it asking me again? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, let's do it, I like that. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's amazing. I wonder how long this will take.
right, so the clone finished. It only took like five or so minutes. It wasn't too long. So it says when everything's done, never use power off or reboot or follow the menu to do a normal procedure. So enter. I'm going to do power off. And I'm going to take the drive out. I'm not going to record taking the drive out because it's really simple to take a drive out, but we will see if the system boots once this power's off and I take the drive out, so. All right, so we're gonna make sure that this computer boots with the SSD in it, and we'll also check like Samsung Magician and stuff. Please boot. I hope this boots, because I don't wanna have to deal with issues. Yes, it's booting. Ah, oh, that's a good relief. That's a relief. Okay, OBS messed up. All right, so we finally booted. So now if we open Explore, oh god, I got it. I got extend. <laughs> I got. I got extend this. God. <laughs> oh. How do I fix that? All right, guys, so we're gonna have to do some sketchy stuff to uh, get this working. So in this part, I had to disable the Windows recovery environment just to prevent any issues. And then after I did that, I went into disk part and I deleted the recovery partition as obviously I needed to do an extend so that way I could use all the storage. And I wasn't able to do that with that partition in the way. Plus my dad planned on upgrading to Windows 11 anyway, which would add the recovery partition back. So it's not a big deal not having it as the computer will still work fine. You just won't have the recovery partition if something goes wrong. So yeah. So if I refresh this, yep, we got more space. But yeah, of course we've written 108 because we just, you know, copied everything over. The temperatures are looking good. They're normal. Well, operation completed. We did it, guys. Uh, I'll stop the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.